the Amazon uh, EC Elastic Compute Cloud is the most well-recognized, largest cloud that's out there at the moment. And we've applied our technology with their technology to bring the Citrix C3 lab. Now, this is basically saying, let's look at putting some of the Citrix delivery center technology into the Elastic Compute Cloud to allow for testing, to allow for doing trials of, of the cloud, to allow for testing compatibility just of applications with Zen App and Zen Desktop. So in order to make this easier, we've created a number of blueprints that you can use, to, but it's effectively it's a recipe for going into the Elastic Compute Cloud, firing up one of our images, or several of our images, to illustrate the types of things that you can do in the cloud. So that's great. That sounds really interesting. Who'd like to see this in reality? Would you like to see a demo? Adam, this, come on down. There's still a pretty quiet bunch out there, yeah, aren't they? They certainly are quiet. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to try, uh, try Amazon Cloud, Citrix C3 Labs, do some provisioning. Anyone got any suggestions as to what you'd like me to provision in the cloud this afternoon? Any requests? I take requests. Zenapp, perfect. <laughs> 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 All right, what we're going to do is we're going to get a, a Zen app server spun up in the cloud through Citrix C3 Labs, show you how easy and how quick it is. What we have, we've got the Amazon Management Console that you can see up here on the screen. And what I've done before the demo is I've created myself an account. But that, this is pretty easy to do. It's about three minutes work. Um, so I won't take you through my credit card details because uh, I won't make that mistake again. Let's go in here. We're going to sign into the console. So I put my email address in, see if I can type it correctly. Okay, all right, so this is the main management console uh, within the Amazon uh, cloud. Now, what I'm gonna do is, as I said, launch a, a Zen app uh, instance. Go here and I'll launch an instance. Now, this is where Amazon stores its AMIs. Now, AMI means Amazon machine image, if you can't read that up there. That's basically the container that Amazon keep their virtual machines in. So we have some pre-packaged uh, VMs, essentially, for the Citrix C3 lab. So we'll go in here into Community AMIs and do a little search here for Citrix. And, okay, so we can see the different C3 lab uh, components, and they essentially relate to those blueprints that Michael was ta were talking about. So there's a lot of different options there, access gateways, um, all different bits and pieces, and we'll be adding to those uh, as we virtualize more of our components. So we'll go in here to Zen App 5 and select that guy. Okay, we don't need a key pair, so we can skip that because we don't need any console access. Okay, now we're going to have one instance, make it a small machine. And we don't need a key pair, as I mentioned before. And what we're going to do now is create a new security group. Now, what the security groups are is essentially the firewall rules that you'll be allowing for your Zen App server, because this Zen App server is available on the internet once we've configured it. So we'll type in here Zen App, Zen App ports. Okay, now we're going to allow RDP in there by default. That's fine. We don't actually need it, but we can, uh, we'll just leave that in for the demo today. Okay, we can see my new security group. Okay, and we can now go launch. So what's happening now is our ZenApp server is now being spun up in the cloud, Citrix C3 Lab ZenApp server. That's now launching. So that's being provisioned within Amazon. That's actually going to take probably about... 10 minutes or so, so I'm not going, to make you, uh, not going to make you wait. It's a bit like a cooking show. I've got one already running that I can show you. But what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to go down here and we're going to edit that security group because we didn't get to add the rest of the ports that we needed. Okay, so you can see the RDP is in there already. Um, let's put in HTTP and uh, HTTPS for good measure. Probably all not uh, required, but we'll do it anyway. Okay, we're going to put one in for ICA. The ICA port is 1494. Okay, 1494. Save that. Okay, we're going to put the CGP port in. That is our rule set. That's all we need to do to configure the firewall to allow connections in to the ZenApp server we're provisioning here in the cloud. As I mentioned, I've already got one running, so we'll just flip back 
uh, into my running instances. Now you can see this one here is starting. That's the one that we've just provisioned. And as I said, in about 10 minutes time, that will pop up as running. This is one I prepared earlier. It's running. Uh, you can see I'm given a public DNS name. So what I can actually do is grab that DNS name there uh, and copy it into my browser. Paste that in there. And then what we will start to see, fingers crossed, is a connection through to the web interface on our Zen App server now running on the Amazon cloud. We'll be logging in with some standard credentials. Now all the credentials are the same, particularly this VM is administrator, uh, Citrix123, and the domain is Zen App Demo. Okay, we can log in. We've already got some installed apps, some online and offline applications there that have been pre-published. Of course, you can play around with that yourself if you like. And I'll just quickly launch this uh, server desktop and just prove to you that it's all real. And this is just a machine here connected to the internet. Uh, certainly nothing special. And there you go. So there's a desktop connection going into our Zen app server that um, we've just provisioned in the Amazon cloud. It's really that easy to be using Citrix C3 Labs and being able to experiment with our products and configuring them in different ways without having to pull out all the hardware and image machines and do all that kind of thing. The Amazon cloud is a very nice playground, I guess, if you like, to be able to do that type of thing. So that is Citrix C3 Labs, Michael. Fantastic. Thank you, Adam. That's just tremendous. So if you've seen the, the C3 Labs, I'd just like to emphasize that the cloud computing is at one of these really interesting stages. It's very clearly part of our future as, as um, IT professionals, but you have an opportunity right now to have a look at it, to start playing, to start ex exploring the cloud while it's still new, while it's still something coming down the pipe. There is no doubt that it will be a big part of the future.